heading on inside halfway with Associate Rock on the outside, Rory Cleary, trying to make ground on the far side, red cap of Annabel Rock and Shane Foley. Not much between these three with a furling and a half to go. That's not me, strongly pressed by Annabel Rock. And then comes Associate Rock, very fast from the back of the field as Annabel Rock hits the front from That's Not Me, and then very fast. And as they run up to the finish, it's Annabel Rock and Shane Foley. Two and a half lengths too good for That's Not Me. Very fast is third and fourth, Associate Rock. Heading on inside halfway with Associate Rock on the outside, Rory Cleary, trying to make ground on the far side, red cap of Annabel Rock and Shane Foley. Not much between these three with a furling and a half to go. That's not me, strongly pressed by Annabel Rock. And then comes Associate Rock, very fast from the back of the field as Annabel Rock hits the front from That's Not Me and then very fast. And as they run up to the finish, it's Annabel Rock and Shane Foley. Two and a half lengths too good for That's Not Me. Very fast is third and fourth, Associate Rock. Rigo Park Lady next with Eckhorn, and they're followed by Dandy's Gold and Polly Douglas. Down the outside, Alan Bilzane is getting into contention, racing inside the two, and it's Hee Haw. Followed by Dandy's Gold, Mocha Lad in between horses. On the outside is Alan Bilzane with pulsating. Eckhorn is running on, then Silk Cravat. They're wide apart inside the final 150 yards. Alan Bilzane and Colin Kane on the near side. Alan Bilzane has wore them down. Eckhorn, Dandy's Gold, Silk Cravat and Red Avenger on the outside. That quartet involved for the placings behind seven. Alan Bilzane. Rigo Park Lady next with Eckhorn, and they're followed by Dandy's Gold and Polly Douglas. Down the outside, Alan Bilzane is getting into contention, racing inside the two, and it's Hee Haw. Followed by Dandy's Gold, Mocha Lad in between horses. On the outside is Alan Bilzane with pulsating. Eckhorn is running on, then Silk Cravat. They're wide apart inside the final 150 yards. Alan Bilzane and Colin Kane on the near side. Alan Bilzane has wore them down. Eckhorn, Dandy's Gold, Silk Cravat and Red Avenger on the outside. That quartet involved for the placings behind seven. Alan Bilzane. The leader on straightening up is Snow Hope and Connor Hoban with challenging coming there on the outside. Horse in the nose band, green sleeves is Sky 7. And that one stable companion, Alinari, is trying to get on terms. Just behind them is Crockford racing towards the final furlong. Sky 7 hits the front but quickly challenged by Crockford on the outside. And it's the main two on the far side. It's Sky 7 from Crockford as they run to the finish. It's a straight double for Colin Kane and Michael Halford. Sky 7 beat. Crockford back in third was Dare to Flair and then Dinard Rose. The leader on straightening up is Snow Hope and Connor Hoban with challenging coming there on the outside. Horse in the nose band, green sleeves is Sky 7. And that one stable companion, Alinari, is trying to get on terms. Just behind them is Crockford racing towards the final furlong. Sky 7 hits the front but quickly challenged by Crockford on the outside. And it's the main two on the far side. It's Sky 7 from Crockford as they run to the finish. It's a straight double for Colin Kane and Michael Halford. Sky 7 beat. Crockford back in third was Dare to Flair, and then Dinard Rose. Jim Kana pushed along under Kevin Manning. On the far side is Koi Big and Oshinor. And then comes Waitaki and Kasba. Down the center of the track is Have a Nice Day. War Hero in front. Racing towards the final furlong from Koi Big, have a nice day, smart stinger, staying on over on the far side in the nose band is Waitaki, inside the final 150 yards, War Hero on the far side is Waitaki, stand side, have a nice day, War Hero possibly, War Hero possibly from Waitaki and have a nice day, and the three who fought out the finish drew on from the others. Jim Kana pushed along under Kevin Manning. On the far side is Koi Big and Oshinor. And then comes Waitaki and Kasba. Down the center of the track is Have a Nice Day. War Hero in front. 
Racing towards the final furlong from Coy Big. Have a nice day. Smart Stinger staying on over on the far side in the nose band is Waitaki. Inside the final 150 yards. War Hero on the far side is Waitaki. Stand side. Have a nice day. War Hero possibly. War Hero possibly from Waitaki. And have a nice day. And the three who fought out the finish drew on from the others. Racing on towards the final two and a half, Lepet, the leader from Make a Challenge, and on the outside in the red and white colours, Stranagon gone, and May Peace prevail in between horses, four in line racing towards the final furlong. The game of life is running on strongly over on the far side. As they race inside the final furlong, and in the centre, Lepet strongly pressed and headed by the game of life, and the game of life from the back of the field for Joseph O'Brien, the Crown Plaza leading trainer of 2018. The game of life wins from May peace prevail, Leopard, and then make a challenge in Stranagon. Racing on towards the final two and a half, Lepet, the leader from Make a Challenge, and on the outside in the red and white colour, Stranagon and May Peace prevail in between horses, four in line racing towards the final furlong. The game of life is running on strongly over on the far side. As they race inside the final furlong, and in the centre, Lepet strongly pressed and headed by the game of life, and the game of life from the back of the field for Joseph O'Brien, the Crown Plaza leading trainer of 2018. The game of life wins from May peace prevail, Lepid, and then make a challenge in Stranagon. Mark is next, and then touch of gold. Kerrison, two precious, is towards the outside, racing inside the final two furlongs. Commander one with a reduced advantage over Turin legend Mark Hand. Kerrison, two precious, is next, and racing inside the final furlong. It's Commander one out in front of Turin legend Mark Hand. Kerrison and two precious, they've all run out of time as Commander one wins again here at Dundalk. Second is Turin legend and Mark Hand. Kerrison and Two Precious. Mark is next, and then Touch of Gold. Kerrison, Two Precious, is towards the outside, racing inside the final two furlongs. Commander One with a reduced advantage over Turin legend Mark Hand. Kerrison, Two Precious, is next, and racing inside the final furlong. It's Commander One out in front of Turin legend Mark Hand. Kerrison and Two Precious, they've all run out of time as Commander One wins again here at Dundalk. Second is Turin legend and Mark Hand. Kerrison and Two Precious. It's Quailas and Crossing Odge. Not much between them in front of Escalonia. Then comes New Vocation, Motcombe Street on the outside, followed by Easy Boy. And then comes Spanish Dawn from last. But it's Quailas in front, racing towards the final 200 yards. With a host of challengers, Spanish Dawn over on the far side. With Escalonia, New Vocation, and it's Spanish Dawn. And Wayne Lorden from last to first, Quailas second. Third is Escalonia, the New Vocation, Easy Boy, and Maiden Manhattan. It's Quailas and Crossing Odge. Not much between them in front of Escalonia. Then comes New Vocation, Motcombe Street on the outside, followed by Easy Boy. And then comes Spanish Dawn from last. But it's Quailas in front, racing towards the final 200 yards. With a host of challengers, Spanish Dawn over on the far side. With Escalonia, New Vocation, and it's Spanish Dawn. And Wayne Lorden from last to first, Quailas second. Third is Escalonia, the New Vocation, Easy Boy, and Maiden Manhattan. Is steely eyed and in the lead still is McGuigan trying to fight them off with feisty Katarina coming out of the bunch to move alongside McGuigan. Then Spanish Soprano, Ragtime Red, is finishing strongly over on the far side. It's McGuigan and Feisty Katarina as they run up towards the finish. McGuigan on the near side of Feisty Katarina. Who's going to have the final say? McGuigan and Willie Byrne on the near side of Feisty Katarina. And they're followed in by Ragtime Red, Spanish Soprano and Lady Kimberly. Is steely eyed and in the lead still is McGuigan trying to fight them off with feisty Katarina 
coming out of the bunch to move alongside McGuigan. Then Spanish Soprano, Ragtime Red, is finishing strongly over on the far side. It's McGuigan and Feisty Caterina as they run up towards the finish. McGuigan on the near side of Feisty Caterina. Who's going to have the final say? McGuigan and Willie Byrne on the near side of Feisty Caterina. And they're followed in by Ragtime Red, Spanish Soprano and Lady Kimberly.